Travis Scott and Drake, among others involved with the deadly Astroworld crowd surge earlier this month, are now facing a new $2 billion lawsuit. That's billion with a B. Billion. This is huge. Let's break down what we know about it. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Now, a number of lawsuits have already been filed on behalf of the Astroworld victims, but this new one against Travis, Drake, Organizer Live Nation, and Apple is by far the biggest. It's filed on behalf of 282 plaintiffs linked to the tragedy that killed 10 people, including a nine-year-old child, and it injured countless others. They're asking for $2 billion in damages. Now, this isn't how the math would go in the end, I'm sure, but that's about $7 million per plaintiff, just in case you were curious. Now, the lawsuit claims the organizers all stood to make an exorbitant amount of money off of Astroworld, and yet they still chose to cut corners, cut costs, and put attendees at risk. By asking for $2 billion in damages, the plaintiffs intend to send the message to all performers, event organizers, and promoters that what happened at Astroworld cannot happen again. Now, Apple getting named here is an interesting new development. The suit accuses the company of putting concert goers at risk through its multi-million dollar purchase, promotion, and implementation of its exclusively online streaming rights of Astroworld. The suit also accuses Apple's cameras, camera stands, and the metal barriers surrounding them of limiting the means of exit for a lot of people by splitting the venue both horizontally and vertically. Now, if you've seen the videos online of what happened, and I don't recommend you watch them if you haven't, you can see the harm that the metal barriers were causing, although it's unclear to me and any other layperson which ones were Apple's and which ones were for security. Travis and all of them are also facing a $750 million lawsuit representing 125 plaintiffs that was filed earlier this week. Now, the lawyer in that case said he expected the various suits to be consolidated into a single courtroom maybe in the next 60 days, which is pretty speedy for the legal world, but they're also facing a ton of pressure, so it makes sense. Now, Travis apologized on Twitter earlier this month, but it was absolutely blasted online. He said he was absolutely devastated by what happened, could never imagine anything like this happening. But meanwhile, there's screenshots of deleted tweets and video from the concert of Travis encouraging people to storm the stage and sneak into the festival past capacity. We're just gonna have to watch this one play out in court and hope that the victims get the justice they deserve. Head over to popculture.com for more updates, hit subscribe on our channel, and I'll see you next time. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.